executive chef of Wenzel Seafood, and today I'm going to take you guys through one of our newer signature items. The items is called Coast Cobia. Uh, so basically, it's going to be a pan-seared lemon fish, uh, and it gets topped with jumbo lump crab meat and jumbo shrimp and sautéed mushrooms. And we actually create a pan-style beurre blanc uh, sauce, which is a white wine butter sauce. And I'll take you through all of that as well. And it's going to be served with some wilted spinach with roasted garlic and olive oil. So uh, I do want to. I want to go over some of these ingredients with you. I have some beautiful uh, local cobia. Uh, also, it's called lemon fish, coming right out of the Gulf, and uh, it's very, very mild uh, and steaky. So that's really why I like to use it. I also have some wonderful uh, local browns, uh, 21, 25 count shrimp uh, that come right out of the Gulf in the backyard and then we have some lump crab meat and uh, you know uh, it's already cooked and, and so we're just tossing it through to warm up but it has a wonderful flavor it's very light and delicate uh, so those are the proteins to that dish and then um, going over some of these vegetables uh, we're gonna roast some garlic uh, I'll show you guys how we slice that um, some cremini mushrooms which are baby portobellos I like to use those because they're you know mild but they're not tasteless like a button mushroom so you do have some flavor I'll go over some more about the mushrooms when we get into cutting them uh, we have some fresh parsley uh, that we're gonna dice uh, mince up and it's gonna give you that grassy uh, and freshness at the end of this dish. Uh, some lemon and uh, some white wine, some green onions that give it a little bit of bite, um, and then it's all getting rounded out with sweet cream butter. So I'm um, looking forward to showing you guys how we cook this. I'm ready to get started. Okay, so now that we're about to uh, sear that cobia off, I'm going to go ahead and go over these ingredients and how we uh, prepare them and how we're going to slice them up. So I am going to start with uh, some fresh peeled garlic and I'm going to take this uh, end off that garlic because that little knot area because the root is going to be a little bitter. So you want to take all those off. Okay, um, just with a nice clean uh, cut. All right, and then I'm gonna actually take this and I'm gonna slice it very thin. Uh, being have these cremini mushrooms um, and with these we're simply are going to just slice them not too thin then uh, I'll start with these green onions and with these guys I just simply uh, and, I, and I'm using this white part I this is where the most flavor is. You know, the, the other area is where the color is, but the, the flavor and the bite is over here at the, you know, in the very beginning of the onion, sorry. So, I'm gonna slice it. So, and that's plenty for what I'm doing. All right, and then I have this fresh parsley and uh, I'm using fresh parsley. You can, you, you can use dry, but it's, you're just not going to get the flavors that you want, you know. And uh, then we have just some jumbo lemons that we've been letting get up to room temperature so we can get all that juice out and of course I'm gonna roll them so I want to get as much juice as I possibly can just a nice slice because these are gonna get squeezed into the sauce uh, and you'll you'll see it'll actually be a part of the, the deglazing process of the uh, fish as well so and uh, that's that, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get started on uh, making this sauce after we sear this fish off. Thank you. 
Okay, now that I've shown you uh, you guys all those ingredients and how we are going to prepare them and cut, and cut them up, I'm going to go ahead and sear off this uh, lemon fish or cobia. And what I'm doing, uh, I'm getting a smoking hot pan because I obviously I, I want to build a nice crust on this fish. So a smoking hot pan and some olive oil. Well, so. And then uh, we're just taking kosher salt and black pepper. I don't have to use a cracked black pepper, but what I use is what we call a restaurant grind, and it's just really coarse. So what we're looking for is just a light wisp of a smoke, you know? It's just about the smoke, and, and that's telling me that uh, it, it's ready to put on. And what we're also looking for is that wonderful sear, just like that. And, I, and what I'm doing actually, and what we do is, we're not blasting it on a full high heat. We're, I, I'm using a medium, a medium to medium high uh, heat, and that's going to help me control uh, the cooking process. So, and that's what I'm talking about. And what I like to do, now that we have it about medium, uh, I'll simply just squeeze just a little bit of lemon and then I'll just let that lemon sit on there. And what that's going to do is just going to reinforce that lemon flavor that we're going to try to build in the sauce. So you can let them sear in there as well. And it's kind of giving it a, a little bit of a deglaze. So we're almost all right, and then one more flip, and then just turn the pan off, and you are there. Just let it sit for just a minute to soak up a little bit of that, more of that lemon, and you can see everything is perfectly, like I said, nice and golden, and has that wonderful crust, so we are ready to serve this guy. Well, I can't wait to show you this sauce. Thank you. All right, now, uh, now that I have that cobia seared off, I think one of the, uh, a, a great side item to that dish that ties in so well is just wilted baby spinach. Um, it's very light and delicate, and uh, it goes so well with the roasted garlic, which kind of completes and rounds out the whole dish in itself. So what I'm doing here is simply same thing, getting my pan smoking hot, and I'm starting with some olive oil again. again. Um, and we want that to do almost the same thing as we were explaining earlier when I was searing the fish and that's getting up to almost a smoke point because we're trying to brown this garlic again. Um, so it looks like it's about there and yep, when we hear that sizzle, that's what we want. We're going to simply shake this pan around and keep that garlic moving. And the whole reason I cut it thin is so we could brown it very quick. Because and you can see that's getting beautifully toasted. And it just smells so good. All right. And I think that is it right there. So we're going to put our spinach in. And you'll hear that pop. And that's what we want. And to that. We are going to again use kosher salt and black pepper. Shake the pan around, give it a flip. And there you go, perfect. Perfect uh, toasted garlic that just pairs so well with that spinach. And now that we are almost there, because it literally only takes about a minute to wilt down spinach. And sometimes you'll have to give it just a shot more of oil and then readjust here and there, but that's fine. And that is it. Very, very quick cooking method. And we'll just pile it on. And there we go. And there we 
we go. Perfect. Okay, so now it's time to build that sauce uh, for our cobia. Um, I love doing this sauce. It's really, 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 really nice. So we're going to get our pan once again smoking hot uh, because we're our, we are going to be uh, once again browning some garlic. Um, we're going to roast our garlic. We're going to add some mushrooms, some cremini mushrooms, and then we're going to add these uh, uh, 21, 25 brown shrimp. Uh, and we're going to glaze with some white wine. And that's going to get a, our sauce going. So then we're going to throw in some lemons and we're just going to make a reduction. Uh, and it, it does two things. One, it's going to cook our shrimp. And two, it's going to develop uh, some more flavor. So we are almost there. Uh, you can see and I can smell this garlic getting toasted and lightly golden brown. So we're just going to let it go a little bit more. And the whole cook time from start to finish of this sauce uh, varies from three to five minutes. So it's rather quick. All right, there we go. That's perfect. So we're going to throw our mushrooms in. And those the mushrooms are uh, initially they're going to soak up uh, that oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some salt right in the pan. Once again, some kosher salt. And we'll go ahead and get that black pepper in there. And what that kosher salt does, it's going to cause kind of like osmosis. So and what that is, it's like it's drawing out moisture out of these mushrooms. So that'll help get that kind of the glazing process. Because we're not trying to roast the mushrooms. We want them just to be lightly sauteed and then kind of simmered. So that's it right there. Then we're going to throw in our shrimp. And once again, uh, we are going to salt and pepper just lightly again because I like to get that same seasoning uh, mix on your shrimp. So there we go on that. Give them a little flip. And now we are ready to add our white wine. Now for this, and what, uh, for the restaurant, we use uh, Chardonnay. So give these guys a flip. And they are starting to reduce. Now we're going to add some parsley. And we're going to add some lemons that well, I had sliced earlier. And like I said, let those women, lemons uh, get up to room temperature and you'll get the best yield of juice out of them. And boy, that is a, some beautiful color right there. Absolutely love this dish. It, it speaks of Gulf Coast, you know, everything is right out of our backyard. It's something that we should be proud of, of having all this wonderf wonderful seafood at our, our uh, disposal, at, at our hands. And those mushrooms are still plump. Uh, this is a beautiful color. You can really smell all those different flavors working. Uh, and the shrimp are just about cooked. So at this point, we're just going to take some of this lump crab and finish it with that and some uh, sweet cream butter and that's really going to help us build that uh, beurre blanc so you know we just want to you want to cube it up pretty small I mean that's fine and, and all we're trying to do is we're trying to emulsify now, when I say emulsify, we're blending together. It's going to give it some nice sheen and, uh, you know, richness, and it's going to round it out and just combine all those flavors together. And so, and that's it. It's melted through. The crab is warmed through. All we're going to do is just finish it with some fresh cut green onions, and that's going to give it that crispiness and bite that we're looking for. And I'll show you guys as we plate this up. Thank you. 
All right, so this is the finished product. Um, and you can see that the sauce is nice and velvety. Um, it's got that beautiful sheen to it. And our seafood is just perfectly cooked and so the mushrooms are nice and plump. So we are just gonna spoon that right over the top of this cobia. And I'm, I'm gonna leave those lemons in there as well because it's just uh, incorporating more flavor throughout the whole dish. So, and then I always come back and I'll just throw that, the rest of that sauce right over top of the crab. And there you have it. And that is our Coscovia uh, topped with sauteed shrimp and mushrooms and uh, lump crab meat with white wine, beurre blanc and lemons. Uh, so with the side, I will do baby spinach and I hope to see you at Wednesday.